what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back terabyte reacts here man and it has been a while to say the least it has been a while it has been a busy busy week and i know this is getting somewhat of a poor excuse at this point um when you guys don't see reactions on the channel man trust me it is not an intentional break to be honest it's really not you know, um, this is the first time I've ever been this busy during the holiday season, to be honest, like ever for the longest time for I can remember, according to, you know, since I started doing business, it's just busy, <laughs> you know, just getting ready for the holiday season. It's it's just crazy, you know, um, for me. So we're going to jump into these reactions, man. Um, so I know you guys have been waiting all week. A couple of people hit me up and asked me what was going on and stuff like that. But it's all good, guys. It's all good. I'm okay. Nothing is wrong or anything like that. Didn't even get a chance to really do an update of anything this week. Um, you know, and I think what I'm going to start doing um, is to just record a bunch of stuff and just spread them out during the week because that's me putting it out all at once is not, I don't think that's kind of working out because then it feel like the channel kind of dried up for a couple of days or so. No, nothing is coming out on the channel. So I might do that. Who knows? But anyways, man, let's jump into this reaction, man. I know the people who are new to the channel probably don't even know what's going on. They don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, the longtime viewers, they will understand what I'm talking about because they know what's up. They know the frequency of which I I upload stuff. So when they don't see me for a couple of days, you know, people start to wonder. But anyways, um, yes. Yeah, so right now, I, Andrea in The Walking Dead, um, Andrea is captured. Today, I'm going to be finishing up season three. I told you guys that I would do that for the next reaction. So um, Andrea is captured. She's back with the governor. Um, I, there's so many things she could have done to avoid that situation. You know, she was so sure that she had taken care of the governor that she, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I've i seen this so many times in so many series and movies that I watch where people, like, they feel like they're so safe. Like, what are you waving at? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to be running out to the prison, not standing there waving like, I'm here, finally, I'm here. I hate when they do that in series, man. So, as I said, man. There was no sure they wasn't going to do the villain. They wasn't going to off screen the villain of season three. Come on now. Like that wouldn't make any sense. So I knew that the governor was not taken care of. Like I knew he was not dead. Um, I said he was going to show up in some way, shape or form. I, I didn't expect him to show up at that point with and, you know, getting back to Andrea. But I didn't think he was dead. But anyways, he came back and he was lying to everybody. So telling everybody that, you know, Angie got away or whatever the situation is, or she got got by the zombies, uh, <laughs> you know, the walkers or whatever. So let's jump into this um, and see how they wrap up the season, because I really want to see that. I have not watched a single TV show or anime for the past week, man. So, I'm a, I'm a jo I'm Jones in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm Jones in a little bit. But let's go watch this episode, these episodes, man, and finish up season three, and then I will try to start season four next week. Okay. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, guys, season three is complete. Let us talk about it. Now, those two last episodes of the season, we lost a member that it didn't even get. She didn't even get a chance. She, we got the, re, the reuniting, which was good. 
if my voice start breaking because I, 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 I really do feel, I don't know why I feel like this for, for Andrea, to be honest. I really don't because she's been with us in season one, right? And to lose her, even though I wasn't the biggest Andrea fan, she she really had a beautiful arc in season three that you can't deny that it was well written for her, for them taking her out of the show. It wasn't sudden. It, she was not a throwaway character like they just killed her for, you know, for no reason or anything. In the end, she had a beautiful character arc throughout the three seasons. And I have to say, I enjoyed it very much. Um, and it was very sad at the same time to see her go. Um, and the whole time I'm there and I'm saying, Jesus, stop talking and get yourself out of this damn chair. And I hate when shows do this because you kind of know that they're building up to this. And you're like, why won't you stop talking and just do what you need to do to get out of the chair? Like you had enough, you had ample time. You had ample time to do this. And you're sitting there talking to, to Milton, answering Milton's questions and all of this other stuff. Like, I hate when shows do that, man. You know, and I had a, a moment of relief. You know, I still had a moment of relief, right? You guys saw that I was very relieved when she got up out of the chair and it seems like she was okay, but she got bit. Oh my God. <sighs> that, that was extremely like, I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want to lose Andrea on the show. Like as cause I said, uh, you guys have heard me say it multiple times how much a, a character like Andrea is needed on the show. Just like how Shane was needed um, on the show, like you need those characters, you know what I'm saying? You need a character that you have this love hate relationship with. You need that character, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause you, you really don't know which, what they really want to do. Like for the whole season we've been saying, um, Andrea, please just listen to Michonne. Just listen, just go, just go. This guy's evil. Listen to Michonne. You've been there with her for this this whole time you've been with her, right? For for all of what, eight months? You guys have been together surviving. And all of a sudden, you don't trust Michonne or you're not going with the, with the flow of things. Michonne left you there because she's like, yo, you an idiot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All this time, you would throw away our friendship for some dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not cool, man. So if she had just listened... She could have survived, you know. So when it comes on to the things that are happening now, Carl is changing. He's changing. I don't like this road that he's going down. You know what I'm saying? This road of just being not necessarily overprotective, but in a sense where, you know, if they threaten the group, you know what I'm saying? Even before he knows, he's taking them out. Like, that's not cool. You cannot shoot first, ask questions later when it comes on to people who are still alive. Like, for the walkers, kill them all. You know what I'm saying? Kill them all. But, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to censor myself, YouTube. So, no. Okay? Because there's certain things you can't say on YouTube anymore, which is ridiculous to me. Because, I, I mean, what happened to free speech? It just went out the window when it comes to YouTube. But anyways, um... You know, when it comes on to walkers, kill them all, man. Kill them all. You know, um, but when it comes on to you, man, you got to give them a chance to explain things. If they're shooting at you, fear game. But uh, 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 a person, like, if he had pretended to put his gun down and then he lifted it again and car sh shot him, like he showed some sort of motion where he tried to protect the group, I would totally understand. But there was no reason for this kid to try to survive that situation. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason. He's got three guns aimed at him. Literally three people aiming guns at him. You had Herschel, you had Carl, right? And you had, um, I think, I think it was, who had the baby? I think Beth was out there with him, I think. So that was just crazy to me. You know, but anyways, he did it. 
So we got to see where his character goes from here. I don't like it. I don't like where his character is going. I'm glad that Rick is not seeing Lori anymore at the end of the episode. They went to get the, the people from Woodbury, the, the, the women and children that was left behind and stuff. Um, I mean, you can imagine if um, if Tyrese and his sister had went. You know what I'm saying? They stayed behind. That's the reason why they survived because they would have gotten killed too. You know what I'm saying? Um That was crazy, man. The governor is nuts. And as I said before, when I when I after after episode 15, where you, you where you heard me saying that um when I was talking about the story arc that they built up for this season and why they built why they did what they did, how they wrote it um how they did is to compare and contrast between somebody choosing to be a dictator versus a person who has been a dictator you get what i'm saying like and for him to come full 16 episode and to come back to who he was that was brilliant writing i loved it i loved it very much um i would have to say it's the best written season of the series so far um that i have watched it's the best written season but I enjoyed season two a lot more. Now that I've gotten a little bit of time before I did this review to actually think about it as I'm talking here, I really do did enjoy. I think season two is still my favorite. Season three, a good second. You know what I'm saying? Season one was the beginning of everything. Really good, great characters, meeting all the great characters, but the introduction of of Herschel, Maggie, and all of that, and, you know, growing the group, losing some good people, um, you know what I'm saying, Dale, that's why I said season two was just, it was just really heavy, the way how Dale went out, the way how Shane went out, and that's why I say it's still, it's still my favorite, you know, Lori, uh, Lori, Lori, the death of Lori broke me, and, the reason the reason why it, it felt so 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 um because I know the, the um I know how this would have affected the group on a whole and also I knew it was gonna break Rick and I felt like I was Rick. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was Rick because you guys know that Rick is my favorite character in the show, hands down. Nobody else even comes close, you know what I'm saying, to being my favorite character in the show. Um, I don't agree with everything he does. You guys know this. I don't agree with everything he does, right? But still, he's still my favorite character. Um, and I I relate to him a lot, the way how he does things and the, the decisions that he makes. You get what I'm saying? I don't agree with all his decisions, but a lot of the decisions that he makes... I see myself in that role, so it's like I relate to him a lot in that sense, okay? So, man, season three was awesome. Season three was awesome. The introduction of the governor, the governor, um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't have predicted it, the season going this way because the way I, how it started out I really thought at the beginning of his character introduction that he was really like you know a, a P-U-S-S-Y you know what I'm saying like I really do believe that he was but then since the since Michonne attacked him that dude went off the rails it was like you gonna take my eye bitch <laughs> my <laughs> anyways yeah, so definitely I enjoyed the season, man. One of the better ones that I've watched so far, as I've said before. So I definitely see you guys in season four. I don't know what's going to happen now. They're still at the prison. There's more people. I don't know how. Carl doesn't look pleased about this. So we lost Merle. Um, you guys know my feelings towards Merle. I've not made it secret. You know what I'm saying? But it was still very touching to see that scene where Daryl had to take him out. You know what I'm saying? Like you, there are certain characters that you don't really like, but when they die, the way how they do it, they do it in a way. And this is something also, I don't mean to compare this to anime. You guys probably don't watch anime because you believe it's cartoons, but, any, <laughs> but anyways, um, in anime, we have a lot of these 
um, kind of stories where you have these characters that you don't like, but they do such a good job of the storytelling where you kind of feel bad for the villain because they show their backstory, you know, so in this sense, you know Merle's backstory. We know that, you know what I'm saying, like be beginning impressions, the first time impressions was not great. He's He was a racist. You know what I'm saying? He was a racist. Um, he, he, he don't, he didn't like black people. And now he's coming around to full arc, letting go, you know what I'm saying? And not killing a person of, uh, of color, which is started out. They painted him as a racist, right? Um, so I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So for, for them to do that is, is, is brilliant. You know what I'm saying? And for and also for Michonne to show him your kindness and show him is like, you know, kind of like explaining to him that he has changed. So that was pretty cool. So definitely, man, shout out um, to the writers of the show, man. They did a brilliant job of kind of bringing everything together for this for this season. And the people that we've lost, they've had beautiful arcs the way how they went out. So you know what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely, man, shout out to the writers of the show or the season in particular, because they might not have been, been the same writers as the first couple of seasons. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Finally, we got a ch I got a chance to finish this season. So I'll see you guys next week for season four, episode one. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, leave a like on this video and leave a comment in the comment section. I will see you guys next time. Peace.